What's up guys, it's Trickshot here, and today I have another tips and tricks video for Fortnite Battle Royale. Keep in mind that some of these are not tips, just general suggestions that have helped me perform better. Under no circumstance am I saying that my opinion is best, I'm just offering information that may help you, as it has helped me. That being said, let's get right into the video. Starting things off, if you're on console, it might be better to switch from the default of Combat Pro to the newly added setting Builder Pro. It's a much more efficient way of placing your pieces, as it retains the same combat controls, but upon switching to building, each of your bumpers and triggers is assigned a different piece, with extra square being for traps. Switching to Builder Pro will get rid of the tedious bumper mashing that you have to do with Combat Pro. Moving on to the next tip, getting the advantage early game. There's a couple things you can do. The first thing is never drop along the bus route. Always aim for locations a little bit out of the way, as this will guarantee that you encounter the least amount of resistance while gathering weapons and materials. Also, when collecting resources early on inside of houses, breaking bookshelves, beds, chairs, desks will yield better resources than finding the nearest tree and will also be more convenient. Up next is impulse grenades. Though unappreciated, they can be very useful to get yourself in and out of a fight really quickly, but timing is the difference between a kill and a death. Simply time your jump perfectly or you'll regret it. As with everything else, it'll take some practice before you're used to them. Another bit of advice I can give is to always keep pressure on building players during conflict, especially near the end of the game. In the video, you can see that I have a large amount of rockets, and that I put them to good use. Keeping pressure on enemy builds will run down their resources and make them vulnerable. However, never leave yourself open when attacking another player's fort. When firing rockets or grenades, jump and shoot to keep yourself safe, and move around in your own build to keep your enemies guessing. One trick that always helps me in gunfights is to give myself a sort of peeker's advantage. What I mean is that in Fortnite, the camera is centered over the right shoulder, like most third person shooters. Therefore, positioning yourself correctly will allow you to see other players before they see you. As in the video, there's a player hiding inside a gas station. Because of this advantage, I'm able to peek him and prepare to shoot before he knows I'm even there. Up next is sniping. On screen, there will be a guide to the bolt sniper's bullet drop. Since there is no accurate way to measure distances in Fortnite, the size of the opponent in your scope is included. As far as sniping goes, be very careful when taking your shots, and aim ahead of players to factor in bullet travel time. Headshots are great, but the damage doesn't mean anything if you can't land your shots. Aiming for body shots early on before you were used to it might be more rewarding. Like the impulse grenades, they'll take some time to get used to snipers. Finally, we're going to move on to aggressive building. Whenever approaching an enemy, always throw down stairs for protection and ease of movement towards the other player. Always keep yourself above your opponent as height advantage is crucial to winning in Fortnite. Controlling the fight and keeping the odds in your advantage is key to doing well. Always attack your opponent in a counterclockwise fashion. Never attack from their left side. And that's all I have for you in this guide. If you found it helpful, leave a like and a comment down below. Leave any questions or suggestions you have for future guides. And I'll see you all in the next video.